G'day, I'm John from Ruhide. Today I'm going to talk about the horse's top line. So by looking at top line, it's going to help me determine which tree I'm going to pick or which saddle I'm going to pick out of the barn to put on each particular horse. This particular four-year-old here has an incredible amount of shape in his top line. So you can see here, down through his back, right in here, We've got a lot of shape there in his, in his back, so we need a tree that's going to come up and release this shoulder area here. And the way you release that shoulder area is bring the, make sure you have the contact down through his back here. So we have to have a tree that has more shape. If you put a regular quarter horse bar on it, it would get very tight here in the horse's shoulder area. And he'd get bound up here and over here as he started coming through himself. So again, what we want is a mirror image of this horse's back. And you can see right there, this horse has got quite a bit of shape in his top line. So now I'll go ahead and bring over an older horse in the barn and check out his top line. This particular horse here is a six year old, but doesn't have quite as much shape as that last horse. So we look at this horse's top line, still has some shape, but not as much angle in here. So this bark, this particular horse could have more of a regular bar. I still wouldn't put a quarter horse bar on it because of the angle here. We've still got angle here and so we have bridging. Again what I want to do in order to release this shoulder area, allow this horse to free himself up, is bring the contact down through the back and make sure that we have this release here. Have this angle right there. Okay a moment ago I talked about bridging. If we have a a flat bar, what happens is this area in here is not having contact. So what actually happens is the tree will slide backwards and sit down tight behind the horse's shoulder area here. If you use a breast collar to hold, a, uh, hold it forward, you are going to get bridging and you're going to have four points of contact. We'll have it there, here, over here and here. And so we'll have four points of contact, bridge, no, very little contact here in the middle, which again makes it very tight here in the horse's shoulder area. Doesn't allow that horse to flow through himself, be able to pick that shoulder up and come through himself. Now we'll go ahead and bring a three-year-old over. Have a look at his top line, or her top line. Okay, and we look at this uh, three-year-old here, and a little flatter, but again, we've got this angle in here. So, I see this on a lot of young horses. The rib cage is not very sprung yet, so the angle is down here. Uh, but also in here, they're, they're narrower in here too. So, generally I'll go with a bar um, that has a tree that is, that's still got plenty of angle here in the front, but is narrower through through this area here. So you still get close contact with the horse, but you are releasing that shoulder area. Again, on this particular horse, if I had a too flat a bar, I'd make it too tight here in the shoulder area. Um, the back would actually be okay, but what would actually happen is the bar would, again, the tree would want to slide back and would get tight here in this shoulder area here. So it wouldn't want to sit true on the horse. So you'd actually be riding downhill. So that's why I prefer to see what I call a check mark shape. And that's my check mark right there. One other thing I just want to talk about real, real briefly is that this actual line right here. A lot of people get confused with that, thinking that, that oh, my horse is uh, really flat through the top line. Whereas, in fact, you can see by this angle here, this horse really isn't flat at all. It has the true check mark shape. So, uh, this is the line I prefer to look at. Draw a line, say four inches either side of that backbone, and and see what your horse's angle really is. Don't don't just look at the that top line right there. I'm John from Ruhide. Today we went over our horse's top lines, the importance of getting the correct shaped tree to mirror image that horse's back. Sit quite close and comfortable.